I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on rotational symmetry. We'll talk about rotational order and also the rotational angle in this particular video. To begin with, here are three questions for you. You can always pause the video, copy these questions, solve them, and then look into my suggestions. Question number one. Provide an example for each of the following description. A. Shape which does not have any rotational symmetry. B. Rotational symmetry of 5. C. Angle of rotation of symmetry is 45 degrees. Question number 2 is, can a figure have no rotational symmetry and order of rotational symmetry as 1? And question number 3 is, write the order and angle of rotational symmetry for the following. So five things given are isosceles triangle, rectangle, letter S, circle, and regular octagon. So you can actually pause the video, answer these questions, and then look into my suggestions. Let me begin by introducing to you what is rotational symmetry and then we'll take solution of these questions so a figure that coincides with itself when rotated less than a full turn about its center has rotational symmetry so figures like a hexagon which you see here if i rotate you can see it will coincide itself after some rotation. So this figure has an rotational symmetry, right? On the other hand, if I have a figure like this, which is a trapezoid, isosceles trapezoid, now if I rotate, it doesn't match onto itself. Do you see that? It doesn't match onto itself. Even when I do it 180 degrees like this, it is not matching to itself. So in a turn, less than 360 degrees it is not going to match on itself correct okay? only when i do 360 degrees then it matches so let's look into the definition once again a figure that coincides with itself when rotated less than a full turn about its circle has rotational symmetry so we will say that hexagon has rotational symmetry while trapezoid will not have rotational symmetry since it only matches itself when rotated exactly 360 degrees but we are looking for less than so this word less than is a key word to understand correct so it has a rotational symmetry only if it matches onto itself when rotated less than a full turn so just before a full turn it could not match on itself however hexagon could match at six different places correct now when you rotate it is about its center right so it is about its center that you are rotating so the center for the hexagon is right there so when you rotate you have to rotate about its center same is the case for the the trapezoid isosceles trapezoid we were rotating it about its center and it never matched itself when it was rotated less than full turn full turn means 360 degrees right so full turn means what full turn means 360 degrees is full turn is it okay now so I think we have understood what is rotational symmetry. So some figures will have rotational symmetry, some will not. For example, if I take a square, it has a rotational symmetry of four, since there are four positions where it is going to match itself, right? So anyway, it has a rotational symmetry since when I rotate, it can match itself, right? So now we'll talk about order of symmetry now order of rotational symmetry is the number of times the figure coincides with itself in one full rotation so in case of finding the order of symmetry we are making one full rotation 
So hexagon will have order of symmetry of 6. Trapezoid will have order of symmetry of 1 because when you make a full turn, it definitely will match itself. All figures will have at least one as their order of symmetry, right? Since when you rotate them about their center, 360 degrees, they will match themselves, correct? Does it make sense to you, right? Even if they do not have rotational symmetry. So this object here has six, is a regular hexagon, six sides, rotational symmetry is six, and uh, rotation symmetry exists. So it does have rotation symmetry, and the order of rotation symmetry is six. In this case, trapezoid does not have a rotation symmetry. However, after one full turn, it just matches itself. Therefore, order of symmetry is one. In case of a square, order of symmetry is four. So every object which has a rotational symmetry will have order more than one, correct? The third important term to look into is the angle of rotation of symmetry, right? So, so we have looked into three terms. First, what is rotation symmetry? Second, how to find order of rotation symmetry? Now, let us look into angle of rotation symmetry. Now, to begin with the hexagon, if we say this is our starting point, so let me mark a point here. I've already done some marking, so I'll use this as my marking. So let us say we mark a point here, right? Now, if that is my point, and if I start rotating, we have to see how many times it matches itself. So now one, right, in one full circle, less, right? So one, two, right? Then it goes and matches three, four, five. And when we complete the whole turn, it matches itself six times. So hexagon has order of symmetry of six, right? So here the order order is six, right? Now one full turn is 360 degrees. So what is the angle of rotation? This angle we are talking about, right? So this angle of this triangle which you see, which is equilateral triangle in this case, it is 360 degrees divided by 6, which is 60 degrees. Do you understand? So angle of rotation for hexagon is 60 degrees. How do we find it? We find it by dividing 360 degrees by the order of symmetry. Does it make sense? Okay. Now, in the case of trapezoid, it does not have rotational symmetry, right? So, does it have rotational symmetry? Not at all. But it does match itself after one full turn. So, it has the order of symmetry as, as one. So, angle of rotation of symmetry, if at all, it has, it is full 360 degrees. Only when you turn to one full circle then it matches right however since less than 360 degrees it does not match itself it does not have let me write does not have let me push this a bit rotational symmetry is that clear right so normally, if an object does not have rotation symmetry, we will not ask for angle of rotation of symmetry, right? Okay. Now, in case of a square, as you can see, it matches after a 90 degrees turn when we rotate about its center. And therefore, the angle of rotation here is 90 degrees. How do you get it? You get it by dividing 360 by 4 since the square has order of rotational symmetry of 4. So with that I think the concept of rotational symmetry its order and angle is absolutely clear. Correct? Now let's take up an example before we get into our questions. Now here we have a shape which is a diamond right? 
What do you think? Does it have rotational symmetry? Let's put one diamond on top of it. If I rotate it, okay, it does match once before one complete circle. So it does have a rotational symmetry. It only matches once in one full turn before the one full turn and second time when you complete the turn, right? So in that case, 360 divided by 2 is 180. So the diamond which I'm having here, this has rotational symmetry, right? It has rotational symmetry, correct? And the order is how much? Order is 2. Since in one full term, it matches itself twice. And the rotation is 360 degrees divided by 2, which is 180 degrees. So that is how you are going to solve questions based on this topic. Is that clear? Now, let's take our questions once again and then answer them. So I hope you now know all the concepts related to these questions. Let us answer them one by one. The very first question is to provide an example for each of the following descriptions. First, shape which does not have any rotational symmetry. So for this, we could take a shape like a triangle. Do you see that? So if I take a triangle like this, where all sides are not equal, right? This triangle, when you rotate, will not have rotational symmetry, correct? Now, rotational symmetry of 5, you can get when you have a regular. Regular means all sides equal, all angles equal of that shape, right? So, regular pentagon will have rotational symmetry of 5 since when you rotate it it will match itself 5 times in one full circle the angle of rotation of symmetry is 45 45 degrees will be will be which shape so you can find it like this let us divide 360 degrees by 45 correct so when you divide 360 degrees by 45 what do you get right so you have to divide this so let's divide it by 5 first so dividing by 5 times 9 and 5 times 7 is 35 right it's 5 times 7 10 72 and that goes 8 times correct so octagon is the one which will have rotation symmetry of 45 so the answer here is regular octagon Is that clear, right? So regular octagon has a rotational symmetry of 45 degrees. Question number two. Can a figure have no rotational symmetry and order of rotational symmetry as one? Yes. This is always true. Since when we talk about whether a figure has a rotational symmetry or not, we are saying angle less than one full turn, less than 360 degrees. For measuring the order, we make a complete circle. Correct? Question number three. Write the order and angle of symmetry for the following. Isosceles triangles, right? So isosceles triangle has two equal sides. The third one is not equal, right? These two are equal. So in that case, when you rotate, it will never match, right? So we can make two columns here. One for the, right, the order, right? Less for the order, right? And the second one for the angle. How? When you complete the full circle, it does match itself like all of the figures. So the order here is one and the angle here is 360 degrees. Rectangle. So when we are talking about a rectangle, we are taking rectangle in general, not a square, correct? So it will match itself twice in one full turn and therefore the angle will be half of 360, which is 180 degrees. So when I turn this about its center, it will match itself. The letter S will also match itself when you rotate this about center, right? So once so it has the order of two right after one full turn also it will match itself now the circle is an 
example where there could be infinite positions right so the order of symmetry here is infinite perfect so we when we cannot divide by well infinite you can say zero degrees but here we do not really talk about the angle of symmetry so any angle which yes you know, so when it is infinite as little as you want to turn you can turn so angle could be approaching zero right very small angle regular octagon octagon has eight sides and so the order of symmetry is eight regular octagon has eight sides and it matches itself in eight different positions so for a regular octagon the angle is 45 degrees right for four sides it is 490 degrees and half of 90 is 45 degrees and you can calculate as we did earlier so i hope that really helps that is how you solve questions based on rotational symmetry the order of rotation symmetry and the angle of rotation symmetry hi i hope that makes sense feel free to write a comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best